Hello all, this is the Nebraska Wildlife Federation Wild Bee House Contest, um, specifically as part of the Environmental Studies Program at the University of Nebraska. We present to you this contest and the project we work on with our client, Carolyn Butler. So overall, there's a combination of climate change, pesticide use and habitat loss that wild bees and other pollin pollinators are being negatively impacted. The Nebraska Wildlife Federation recognizes the importance of pollinators in local areas and aims to build on the 13th Street Pollinator Flyway project that they led last year by installing wild bee houses along the route. Through the Nebraska Wildlife Federation Wild Bee House Design Contest, we hope to provide more nesting sites for these pollinators. The main issue that we were trying to address during this project was the declining wild bee population in Lincoln. Um, the Wild Bee House Design Contest was an opportunity to educate the public about the importance of wild bees and support the pollinators. The NEWF needed help promoting the contest and engaging the community. And through the community outreach, we brought awareness to the declining wild bee population and pushed for participation. Um, the goals and objectives. The main goal for this project was to pr protect wild bees by A, providing information to the public about wild bees, and B, increasing the number of nesting sites. Our objectives would be categorized into three parts, information, promotion, and submissions. Objectives under information were to provide and review contest materials. Objectives under promotion were to create a contact list of community partners to distribute contest information to potential participants. Objectives under submissions were to receive roughly 25 entries by the end of April 8th, which, is, which was the submission deadline, and to develop a young voting system where the public could vote for the top four designs. After that is all said and done, we would have installment of the winning designs on the 13th Street Pollinator Flyway in sometime late to early summer. Uh, potential solutions and what we did, our first objective was to find the audience. So we reached out to organizations, kids, school clubs, companies. Um, next, we distributed proper uh, information, starting with the flyers that the Nebraska Wildlife Federation has had and uh, the ones that Caroline has uh, presented to us. We used website and social media, such as Facebook and Instagram. And we also used verbal communication along with our peers and other classmates. We then created a contact list with names, emails, and phone numbers. And then we are going to design a website or a contest page where we could have all the participants and their pictures put up there. We would have a judging system where people could vote for which beehive that they really like. And those ones would be implemented into uh, the flyway. So the results, um, since this was an outreach project, um, the design posters to post around and also reached out to organizations in attempts to promote the contest. After designing the posters, we hung them around campus and the community. Um, we hung them around different buildings on campus, East Campus, City Campus. Um, we went to O Street and started putting flyers down there. Um, we were planning on designating the voting system on SurveyMonkey using Carolyn's SurveyMonkey information. But when the project was canceled, there was no longer a need for this. Um, we were also going to be judging on Lincoln Earth Day and have a way for people to participate in judging on paper again, but this was no longer necessary due to uh, unforeseen circumstances. And lastly, we wrote out a white paper to outline our process and outreach efforts to help provide a plan for future contests ahead of this nature. The white paper includes information regarding the business of hosting a contest, a process to raise awareness for wild bees, a projected timeline, timeline to follow, and the best practices for promoting a beehive, beehive house contest. Um, our recommendations, if someone were to do this after us, we should uh, emphasize that outreach efforts should commence as soon as the contest is announced. Uh, the more time you have to outreach, the just better overall um, participants and more number of people that will be attentive will be uh, greatly increased. We feel like we started a tad too late when starting the outreach process, starting earlier in the semester. Um, given possible participants time to purchase the required materials and beehives. So again, it's imperative that we get out early and get the information out to the public. We did enter event submissions into the Lincoln Journal Star and the Daily Nebraskan, but unfortunately we did not hear back from those sources. 
but we think that having the contest submitted into the news would have increased the awareness for the contest and raised our chances for receiving submissions. These are our references, or just reference, and acknowledgements as to Carolyn Butler and David Gosselin. Um, Carolyn Butler has been amazing. She's given us plenty of support. Um, her effort and just uh, enthusiasm is second to none. And we'd like to thank Dave Gosselin for the direction and resources that he provided to us given these hard times.